Welcome back to Bold TV. I'm Philip Michael, and today we're talking about one of the biggest growing industries right now, and something that we cover on the show quite a lot which is cannabis. And joining us today is the CEO of cannabis vaping company, Carvana Mehran Mogadam. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now, we've talked a lot about, about the cannabis industry on the show, but how does vaping specifically fit into the industry? You know, vaping actually is kind of probably one of the, fast, the biggest categories in the industry. A lot of it has to do with convenience. People like that discretion, um, a little bit more of a pure you know, consumption of the cannabis product. And um, it's definitely a very popular category overall. Mm. Now, there was a huge anti-vaping sort of movement a couple of years ago. And even the other day, it may have been yesterday, I saw on um, the side of a, a bus stop, it said, your, your kid may be vaping too. Now, does this worry you at all as a business person in the space? You know, absolutely. I think a couple of years ago, I mean, that had a lot to do with the illicit market, people cutting their vape cartridges with things like vitamin E acetate, which is quite harmful. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the regulated market, I think, especially in California for cannabis, um, we have pretty strict protocols from a quality standpoint. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that has, you know, the educated consumer knows quite a bit about that. But overall, it's definitely a concern. Um, but from a scientific standpoint, you know, if consuming cannabis is safe, then you would arguably say that consuming cannabis oils is even safer because it's a more pure form of that flower. Mm. So in terms of because and again, I remember this may have been a year or so ago when they said, oh, people were dying from vaping. It was actually before the pandemic. There was some saying, oh, this is what you will be dying from. Now, uh, can you perhaps debunk some myths here? Is there something that the public doesn't know about? How did it is there a different quality of vape? Is it the, the, the material? Is it the oil? What is it exactly that can that can harm people? And how is it that people can protect themselves from being harmed? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, Definitely, if you're going to inhale something, I mean, it goes straight into the blood. So you got to be very careful anytime mm -hmm. you're consuming such a product, right? But, you know, so doesn't mean, so vaping could be dangerous if you don't know what's in it. I think one of the key things is making sure you're getting it from a reliable source. Um, in a regulated market or states that have regulated markets, they go through pretty strict testing. Um, a lot of things like pesticides, heavy metals, um, solvents, those things can all be dangerous to be inhaled. And what happened a year and a half ago in the unregulated market, a lot of people were taking those vape cartridges and cutting it down with ingredients to basically increase profits. But those ingredients that they were adding and cutting it down with in the illicit market um, really were not safe and, and was dangerous. So my recommendation would definitely buy from a licensed retailer, someone who has a, a program where they are testing, you get a good certificate of analysis and making sure you follow that chain of custody of product from start to finish. Right. Now, uh, switching gears a little bit, we talk about uh, diversity a lot on the show also. It is Asian American Heritage Month, and we don't see a lot of Asian representation in the cannabis, cannabis space. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? Are you seeing um, diversity? Uh, are you seeing any type of trends in, in, in terms of that? What are your thoughts overall? Yeah, I know. Actually, in California, I saw a study. I don't know how accurate it was, but I think only 2% of the leadership in cannabis was, you know, Asian American. And I, I definitely think that, you know, especially in light of everything in the media recently, it's bringing a lot more awareness to the mm -hmm. table, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to have that equality, I think, across the board for all races. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, um, it's definitely good what we're kind of a lot of the awareness and things that are coming to the table more recently. Mm, absolutely. Now, what's next for you and Carvana? Oh gosh, we're we got a lot of exciting things. I mean, Tell for us, us we are, we're known for vape, and we're constantly innovating. And I think right now it's kind of an interesting time. Over the last few years, a lot of it was a pretty steep learning curve in the industry on making a great oil and and making a great vape cartridge. But for us, we're we're doing a lot of fun things in the lab with everything from mushrooms to other nootropics and adaptogens, and and being able to really get in there with the lab and you know create things that are not only efficacious, but actually really safe. So you got safety first, but all sorts of other cool ingredients that maybe you could vape here in the near future. Wait, wait a minute, you talk about nootropics, just what people don't know, there's this movie that came out a few years ago, Limitless, and they said that whole pill is yeah. just, just what that really is in real life, maybe not to that dramatic extent, but that is nootropic. Can you tell a little bit about that is and how would that fact factor into a vape? Because I actually brought one here because no one we would speak. Uh, can I do nootropics on something like this? You can. I mean, the thing is, with with when vaping, you need to make sure that it's going to basically be able to get into the blood through uh -huh. the through the lungs. So not everything's going to be bio bioavailable and be able to be vaped. But if you create a formulation that allows you to inhale those things, 
you'll get a lot rapid, quicker onset. So it goes straight into the blood. You get that effect right away. You got to make sure those molecules that you're vaping are going to pass that blood brain barrier. But um, theoretically, 100% yes. I mean, I think it'll only be time before we start seeing a lot of cool ingredients like that in a vape pen. If you have that, is that something you can buy right now through you, Nootropics? You know, we right now we have them in some tinctures. In the vape pens right now, it's strictly cannabis, but okay. we are... I mean, keep an eye out for, you know, sometime in the near future. Well, when that happens, maybe we can do a live review right on the show and you can see how it impacts my productivity and see how, how good it works. I'm, I'm down to be a guinea pig. Great. <laughs> thank you so much for being here today, Miran. Yeah, definitely appreciate your time. You got it, man. And thank you all for watching. Make sure to follow Bo TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Have a great day, everybody. I'm out.